Now we will learn what are conditional statements and its converse. So first the statement which can be written in if then usually if then sentence in English. So in mathematics the statement which can be written in if then form are called conditional statements. The part of the statement following if after if whatever part is there is called as antecedent. The second part of the statement the part of the statement following after then is called consequence. There are two parts in the statement in if then statement. So first is antecedent and second part is consequence which is after then. Now if antecedent and the consequence in the given conditional statements are interchanged, the order is changed, then the resulting statement is called converse of the given statement. So note down these points in your notebook. Practice set 1.3. Question number 1. Write the following statements in if-then form. First one. The opposite angles of parallelogram are common. So statement in if-then form is if the quadrilateral is parallelogram, then it opposite sides, opposite angles are common. Second one, the diagonals of rectangle are congruent. So statement in if-then form is, if a quadrilateral is a rectangle, then its diagonals are congruent. Third one, in an isosceles triangle, the segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the base is perpendicular to the base. The statement in the if then form is third answer. If a triangle is an isosceles triangle, this part is called as antecedent, then the segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the base is perpendicular to the base. So from then this part is called as consequent. Here also, if the quadrilateral is a parallelogram is antecedent, then its opposite angles are congruent is consequent. Here, if quadrilateral is a rectangle is antecedent, then its diagonals are congruent is consequent. Question number two: Write the converses of following statements. So first is the alternate angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal are congruent. So converse of this statement is if the alternate angles made by two lines and its transversal are congruent then the lines are parallel. Second, if the pairs of interior angles made by the transversal of two lines are supplementary then the lines are parallel. So converse of this statement is if two parallel lines are intersected by transversal then the interior angles so formed are supplementary. And last one the diagonals of rectangle are congruent. So converse of this statement is if the diagonals of quadrilateral are congruent, then that quadrilateral is a rectangle. All of you write down exercise 1.3 in your notebook.